What's up guys, Everything Apple Pro here, and in light of iOS 8.1 being released on Monday, I wanted to do a review of iOS 8.1 and let you guys know what's new, what's changed, and is it faster than iOS 8.0.2. So I'm going to start off with the biggest changes and go down to the smallest ones. Now on the iPhone 6 and 6 Plus, when you install iOS 8.1, you're going to be able to use that NFC chip that's built in to pay for your purchases at many retailers and over 500 banks, so it will introduce the Apple Pay system. Two, is inside of messages whenever you receive a text message now it'll bounce straight through continuity to your Mac and you'll be able to reply to it or answer phone calls to actual SMS's not just iMessage so SMS relay is going to be available in iOS 8.1 three there's going to be instant hotspot so if you're near your computer and you usually use hotspot it'll instantly connect and you'll be able to use that without any extra fuss next is the iCloud photo library so you'll be able to sync every single photo in between devices full resolution no compromise and camera roll is back by popular demand people just didn't like Apple for removing it so they brought it back and camera roll is now back in iOS 8.1 and lastly the iBooks logo has changed just a little bit to match the one in Safari right there as far as performance goes let's go ahead and see how iOS 8.1 compares to 8.0.2 now on newer devices, I really doubt you'll notice any speed enhancements, but there will be a lot less crashing. Apple definitely has made it more stable. On the iPhone 4S, you're definitely going to notice a speed difference. So let's go ahead and run a Geekbench and see how these compare. Okay, so on the left here, I have iOS 8.0.2, and on the right, I have the new iOS 8.1. And I already have Geekbench preloaded. Let's go ahead and make sure I have nothing running in the background. And let's launch these guys. So pretty much identical in every way in specs besides the operating system. And let's go ahead and run the Geekbench. All right, and as you guys can see, iOS 8.0.2 is just a little bit better than iOS 8.1 in terms of raw specs, but actual usability is a little bit different. So let's go ahead and launch a couple of applications to show you guys that it is a little bit more snappy. So this one did load just a snap faster. Uh, let's try settings. Exactly the same. Now you're gonna notice more of a difference on the iPhone 4S, but overall the performance isn't worse. I would say it's a lot more stable, but it's not much faster. And lastly, I just wanted to do one last test. Okay, so let's go ahead and boot these guys up and see which firmware is first. And it looks like iOS 8.1 did boot just a little bit faster. And yes, I did press the button exactly the same. There's just a little bit of a delay and boot up on 8.0.2. So as you guys can tell, iOS 8.1 isn't, you know, you can't tell the speed difference on the iPhone 5, but there is a lot of improvement when it comes to stability. So it will crash less and I would definitely recommend upgrading. And of course, you get a couple nice features and the camera roll is back. So... When it comes to performance, almost no difference, but stability is better. So iOS 8.1 is coming on Monday. There's really no reason not to upgrade. So I do hope you guys enjoy iOS 8.1 when it does drop. You know, enjoy the new features and have a great day, guys. Peace.